Bina Puna Bomba da Bumba Donna Puna Bomba da Bumba Bona 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 I don't know why guys I always sing for the intro it's just my thing like I just can't resist it but hey guys and welcome to episode 27 on the bushcraft server so first off we are going to be doing yet another enchantment this time on a diamond axe because i felt like look at our inventory so we got a sharpness five knockback two diamond sword a flame one power five bow really good two really good weapons uh amazing diamond shovel uh we got that too and um I was thinking about doing a diamond pick but i think this is going to complete our line of tools on our hotbar so yeah i don't want to uh enchant a kind of half used one so i'm just going to do this one so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get the lo uh the shortest line possible here uh or the longest line if we can get like a really long oh that's a nice short one oh wow i'm breaking free efficiency four silk touch one Oh, that is amazing, guys. We can... What can you get with Silk Touch? Um, well, I know you can get... Oh, whoa. That's really quick. Yeah, you can get... Yeah. Nice. We've got a Silk Touch Axe. We've got a um, Fortune Shovel. And a Silk Touch Axe. That is amazing. So, let's just test this on a block of wood again. Whoa, that is nice. That's a very nice shovel very pleased with that guys and uh once again it may be the proper episode or if i get enough levels lovely melon from last episode if i get enough levels then we may be doing another enchantment all right guys so this is the proper episode and uh we have no more enchantments to do except we do at the end of the episode i think because we're going to do one on this diamond pickaxe just here uh, I was arguing myself to do it at the start of the episode so that we didn't uh, ruin the durability because we're going to be digging a few bits out today uh, but I decided no. So as an indicator we've got loads of birch wood and yeah so today we're going to be doing some potion work so let's just click that. Really efficient this I love it I've almost got a stack of melons. So yeah we're going to be making a potion room today guys. Um, Oops, I let I forgot to light this up. Luckily, no mob spawn, so that's cool. So, yeah, this is going to be our potion room just in here. Uh, so, if you're wondering, why have I got blaze rods? Well, I went adventuring into the nether. I thought I'd do this off camera. Uh, you guys are probably going to say, like, oh my god, that would have been really, really entertaining. But, in case you guys are wondering if I'm cheating or not, I'm not cheating, guys. Come on you trust me don't you like i got these three blaze rods i was in the nether for about i don't know half an hour i was trying to kill off all the wither skeletons i almost died at one point uh but my armor is a bit better than it was when i went in there last and i yeah i fended off all the wither skeletons and came back with three blaze rods which isn't the most i could have got but it's all right i felt like escaping because it was getting a bit dangerous so yeah i really uh, so for this build I do actually have a theme I want it to be circular so let's just uh, try and create this now so I'm kind of thinking we're going to stick with our theme of birch and netherrack I think that's going to be throughout our whole base and this axe is freaking look at it monstrous so good I'm so pleased about that uh, but yeah wait what's this half slab we don't use those anymore all right so let's just uh we don't need ones on the bottom because this is going to be the floor so i'm not sure how wide we want to make this but we just need to carry on oh no okay it's like that's going to be a problem i'll tell you what guys we're going to make it unique here we're going to make a unique we don't need these that's just a waste of blocks we're going to make a unique room here so we're going to make it kind of circular on this side and then on the other side we're just going to make it flat mostly to to stay out of the way of the um uh, enchantment room but also i don't know it'd be unique and I, I like making things that are unique so this could pay off i guess so let's just grab ourselves some torches 
like so. Uh, I've got some nether axe melting, so we can have some nether brick. Um, yeah, I think that should be far enough back, so let's start to go here. And this is going to be the bit along this wall where we will have all of our blaze, I mean, um, potion brewers, brewing stands. Yeah, that's the word. So uh, we want this about, mm, yeah, that should do. And then we'll curve it back round. So let's put a torch there and start clearing out this room. So uh, I really regret this decision of uh, deciding not to enchant this pickaxe at the start of the episode. Because that does mean I'm going to use up a lot of the durability uh, before we've even uh, enchanted it. But we can, I guess we can repair it if we've got another diamond pick before we enchant it. So what's this? Is this? No, it's not finished. Just a cave. So let's just um, dig back here. So how many have we gone out on this side? So it's three. So uh, that one's in line with that one. And then we go back here for four, I think. So well that work out that works out perfectly. Yeah, we just go up to the wall on this side. Uh so that's gonna be here. Yeah, I kinda like the shape of this room. I don't really how do you describe this shape? It's kinda curved on one side and then I don't know. I don't know how you describe it, but it's pretty cool. And guys, I just want to thank you loads because on the um, I think it's Bushcraft episode 24, the one where I made the mob spawner, we smashed 10 likes on that video, guys. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who liked that video and who even watched it because it's it's really good. Like that, you guys have got my back. I mean, I don't get anything for likes, but it's just really good that you guys are, you know, getting involved with my videos and you're showing that you like them. It's re it's really encouraging me to make more. So, yeah, there will be daily videos guaranteed for this holiday because I'm not actually doing anything. So that is an added bonus. Uh, I'm going to be recording some Black Ops 2 Zombies sometime, like tomorrow or something. So a few of you wanted that. So, uh that's what I'm going to be doing in the holiday. So let's just put dirt just here. Uh, I'm not sure what we want the ceiling. I think in stone brick. And I think that's what I'm going to do it out of. So yeah. This isn't a very big room. But uh, I think it should do. So let's start um, laying the floor. So I think I want it like this around the outside so birch wood and put that there as well and then how are you gonna do this so hey badger pig uh all right so how are we gonna get this like that uh do you know what i think i'll just do it all birch wood because I know it might look a bit plain, but YOLO, <laughs> I guess. All right, so let's go and retrieve our um, nether rack. No, nether brick bricks. Wait, is it called nether brick brick? No, just nether brick. Okay. This should get us a ton of XP, even though we're already leveled 31. Oh, we should have enchanted at the start, you see. It's just showing me messages that what I should have done. Right, so this should give us a stack of uh, nether brick. Nice. That should really do us because we don't need too much. It's only going to be like like the framework. Let's just harvest this one. Yes, nice. A full stack. Brilliant. We're going to need those for potion brewing soon. So that's pretty awesome. We've already got those. Uh, Alright, so let's start laying these across here. Oh my god, I, j I just nether brick and birch just go together so well just match made in heaven match made in heaven for me anyway depends what your taste is like really for building but this is definitely mine yeah pretty pretty neat 
so I think we'll do it along here even though it might look a bit stupid from the outside this girl looked good from the inside so hello badger how are you doing yeah we'll do we'll do the um pillars of the things I'll tell him that I'm recording recording yes you can borrow two sticks uh, all right, so let's just make a bench here. So we want like that, I think. I think we want it kind of a workbench thing for our um, for our potion brewing brewing stands. Oh my god, I can't think of the name today. So let's just get a cra. We're gonna need that for later. I I know we need that for potion brewing. So let's put a crafting table here and we'll put a chest just here so let's go ahead and make one of those just like so and yeah that's pretty awesome so let's just put ingredients that we need for potions in here so carrots uh we need blazers to make them melons we'll put half of those in there uh we need spider eyes sometimes put those in there as well Alright, so I think I know how to make the brewing stands. I think it's just like this. Yep, there we go. First time, that's surprising. Uh, we m Yeah, let's save one because we might need that for like an ender eye or something, finding the end portal. But yeah, there you go, two, two brewing stands. So now we have these. We need to get going with the um, the glass bottles and awkward potions. So, for this, oh crap, we need nether wart, don't we? Do we have any nether wart? Mm, I don't think we do. Alright guys, I'm just going to go and check if everyone has any nether wart and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have some bad news for you. We don't have any nether wart on the server. I was really hoping we did. And I forgot that you needed nether wart to uh, even make potions at all. So I'm extremely sorry about this. But we, we can't actually start potion brewing today. So uh, we can get all the glass bottles and everything ready. But um, yeah, we can't start brewing which is kind of a pain. But what we can do is we can... Uh, that we can do some work on the farm because I have a lot of stuff that I want to well some stuff that I want to do with the wheat farm so that can uh, fill up the rest of the episode I know we're not really on target guys but mm, meh. I guess uh, we'll do the potion room when we get some nether wart which will hopefully be in a few episodes time so stay tuned for that uh, put all this away so my idea for the wheat farm I'll just show you what I've been doing on the wheat farm recently and that is I have been completing the other side so I completed both sides now uh, and I added this little water feature just here so when they drop they they all float to this block right here now um, what I was thinking is that I would put a hopper just here so that it went into a hopper and then went into a chest but as you can see under here it turns out the redstone goes right through here so our target is for today to try to move this um this redstone so i know this all this um wheat is going to come pouring down when i break this but i think we're ready for it so all the wheat's gonna get harvest. Okay, here we go. It's all gonna land on us now. So let's just get out of here. So look, I that's how it works, see? The water. Oh god, if we can get out of here, that'd be cool. Oh god, I think we're gonna have to break our way out. So yeah, all the um stuff as you can see on the right hand side is floating to that point and then you just go and pick it all up and it's awesome so that yeah that's how that works uh it's just that's really annoying that you can't get out of that so yeah we need to try and move the redstone down so that's gonna be uh wait why isn't that oh yeah it's because the redstone 
Alright guys, I'm just going to try and figure it out and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we have fantastic news. We do actually have some nether wart on the server. So that is amazing. Yay. It turns out Badger Pig just about got some actually. Uh, from exploring in the nether fortress. So that is awesome. We can continue potion brewing. So, uh, so firstly what we need to do is actually clear out our inventory. Because we need a lot of glass bottles. And we need to fill them all up with um, water. So let's just empty all of our seeds into there uh our chickens they're making a ton of noise i mean so annoying but i guess it's efficient so who cares so uh where should we put our blaze on i think we're gonna put that in our ender chest just so it doesn't get stolen um so yep put that in there i guess we'll put those in there as well just for the sake of it Alright, so we need some glass, so let's go and get some sand from our chest. Oh uh, wait, have we got any glass up here? Uh, we may do actually. Uh, oh wait, yes we do. Wait, no, 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 they're glass paints, they don't work. Oh, that is uh, that is absolutely brilliant. I don't think you can make glass blocks out of glass panes. But we do have quite a bit of sand, so we can just make them out of this, I guess. So, smelt all of this, uh, put half in there, and half in there, one, two, being efficient with the coal here, and uh, let's just go and empty our pockets, I think, while we're waiting for that to smelt. Uh, yeah, this is going to be epic, guys, I can't wait to get some potions brewing, I'm actually really enjoying uh, playing on the server at the moment, It's it's awesome just really really cool it's all coming together perfectly uh so let's see if we got enough to make a few bottles yes we have sweet so i think whoa it makes three bottles nice so we'll have enough for two sets of potions easily here we go it's kind of annoying that you can't like do the dragging thing for the bottles but uh i think i should do actually for now we'll leave the sand smelting but but yeah We've got six bottles now, so let's go and do some potion brewing, I guess. So, I do believe I know how to uh, do the instant health potions, which is the first thing we need. So, let's just uh, put these in there and put those in there. we got nice potions on there now. Alright, so we need to add nether wart to this and nether wart to that to make um those are awkward potions that are making now so let that do that thing let's just go and get some of the ingredients actually so we're gonna need some golden nuggets so i guess we'll just take a few of these make those into that and we're gonna need some uh let's make six of these glistening melons six there we go glistening melon that's what we're going to need for the instant health potion now to make it splash potion you need gunpowder so let's take some of this it's finally coming useful guys uh so let's walk over here and yep awkward potions no effect so now we need to firstly add the glistening melon to make it instant health hopefully hopefully come on then hopefully that should uh do uh let's just put some of the ingredients in there and we can just fill this up with um water bottles a bit later come on hurry up hurry up We're almost done here there we go potion of healing instant health sweet so we just add gunpowder to that to make it splash potion and now it's going to be awesome down at the farm i think ross is actually still afk down at the farm Wow, that, that's been a long time. I could just lob a, a splash potion at his zombies. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not that mean. Alright, so, uh, I think I do know a few more recipes. We can actually make a speed potion. So, if we can go and get some sugar cane. Uh, ooh, get out of my house. Uh, so, it's just in here. Oh, see Daisy. Just in here. So, let's take some of this. Make all that into sugar. And I do believe we need some redstone as well. 
some redstone oh god always do that some redstone and some oh my we don't have any glowstone dust other than that one we don't really need uh glowstone dust because what glowstone glowstone dust it does is it makes it like uh instead of potion of swiftness it makes it potion of swiftness too so it makes it go up a level so it's pretty awesome so now we have splash potion of healing so that's the thing that we're going to uh oh we got an achievement for it that we're going to use for our zombies down at the farm so that is awesome let's just put those in this chest lovely jubbly we have all of those now all right so the next ones we need to do is we need to do more awkward potions so let i guess what we'll just go and get all of the um glass from up here uh in these lovely jubbly xp uh and then let's just make a load of glass bottles and fill all of them up uh with water from the sea or from our water source actually let's do that okay they're all dropping there that's fine we can just pick them up a bit later so now we need to keep running back and forth quickly uh, i'll speed this bit up so see you guys in a minute Alright guys, so we got the last um, hold of potions, I guess you could say. So let's just put these in here. Uh, actually, we need six. So let's just take these and put them in our potion brewing stands. Uh, ready to brew. Let's use one more nether wart for each. We do actually need to make another wart farm. We'll do that next episode, I think. Uh, but yeah. So let's just make these, let these brew, and I think this is going to be the last potion we're going to make today, because this episode is getting on quite long. So, oh, didn't eat that, uh, just eat that melon, and awkward potion, uh, let's just add this sugar to make it potion of swiftness, and we'll add, also add redstone to make it last longer, I think that's going to be uh, pretty cool. Also, fire resistance potions are going to be also very handy, uh, seeing as um, we can fight blazes without like catching on fire. We can also jump in lava, which is awesome. So we got potion of swiftness uh, for three minutes. So this should make it eight minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So that is really cool. So uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Uh, below down the bottom uh, please do not miss it and click the like dislike button because that would suck but yeah let's just uh, check these yep 8 minutes of speed very nice uh, we won't bother making those into uh, splash potions I think uh, they should be fine just like that so let's just get another load of uh, uh, wait do we have more no let's just get another load of water bottles in there ready and yeah thank you guys for watching uh hope you did enjoy again um and yeah if you did enjoy please uh like below we're still not accepting applications for bushcraft uh oh no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i almost forgot i almost forot sorry guys we're gonna do this enchantment 
on our diamond pickaxe. So let's just walk in here. Come on, come on, guys, come on. What's that? Oh, redstone lamp. Okay, we better get something good on this, because a uh, lot of levels. Ah, oh, actually, that is exactly what I wanted. Efficiency 4 on breaking 3. That's exactly what I was looking for. So uh, I just wanted an efficient pickaxe that would last us quite a while. So that's really perfect for the job. So yeah, awesome pickaxe. Awesome potions. Uh, next time, we will make a netherwart farm and continue potion brewing. And maybe at the start of the episode, we'll uh, show you what it's like to throw a potion of healing at zombies. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy, please subscribe above or wherever it is. Just go on my channel and subscribe uh, for daily Minecraft videos. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.